welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for dropping by. You guys know I love luxury handbags, anything designer, contemporary. I mean, honestly, if it looks good and it fits within my lifestyle, I'll love it. And today I wanted to share something that was picked up in December. So it's not anything new. Um, and it's been used like a couple of times. I wanted to share it because I thought it was such a unique piece and it's a piece that's a little different and super fun. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. But as always, if you guys love luxury and unboxings, comparisons, reviews, anything along those lines, please consider subscribing. I'm also gonna drop my Instagram up here. If you are not following me, please check me out. Again, I just post about things that I enjoy and that I love. I love chatting with you guys. I love getting your feedback. So please DM me or drop me a comment below if you guys have any questions or you just wanna share the things that you've been loving lately. Okay, with that said, as you can see from the background, I am going to be showing you a coach bag. And I know a lot of you that watch my channel love coach. I would say out of all the contemporary brands, Coach is definitely one of the brands that really have held its name and held its quality over the years. And Vintage Coach has always been so great. But even now, if you go into boutiques, I feel like all the bags still are good quality and still feel very luxurious. You know, we all know there are brands out there and I won't name names, but 10 years ago, the brands had really up upheld their quality and detail. But if you go into the boutiques now, it just doesn't look as um, high end, I would say, as like what it was like 10, 20 years ago. Nonetheless, let's just hop right in. So, so like I said, this is not an unboxing. I just wanted to show you because it's stored in this box over here. This is the box it came with originally. And this is something that um, is, it, it's just a fun piece. And let me know what you guys think. It's gonna be really unexpected. It's not something you normally see. I've actually never seen this piece anyone with it in person. So yeah, I think it's really cute. So if you guys didn't watch my other unboxing of Coach when I bought the mini cash in, I actually picked up the little card holder as well. I'll drop the video below if you guys have not watched that. I ended up returning the card holder just because I had so many SLGs already and I really, it was just really too small for my lifestyle. And plus it didn't really match a lot of things I had. So I ended up returning it, but this one reminds me of that piece, but so much better. So I don't know if they still have this in store. If they do, I'm going to drop the links below, but this one was such a good deal because you guys know, I always look at Rakuten to see, and I think they were doing, Rakuten was doing a percentage back plus coach was also doing a sale. So stacked up, I think this bag in total was like $230, which I think the original price was a lot more. I'll drop it below if I can remember. But again, yeah, so here it is in the dust bag and it is this little piece right here. It is so cute. So don't let the size fool you. This bag actually fits so much and I will show you how much it actually fits in a little bit. But I believe this one comes in a range of colors. I'll drop some up here. But uh, I love this one because how cute is this like really pretty champagne cold with this kind of like metallic -y pink and a deep forest green. You guys know I love metallics and I love green. So this bag definitely speaks to me. And the best part, it has a back pocket. And if you guys could feel how pillowy soft this is, you would be amazed. But again, just really quickly to show the specs on the back, it comes with a little mini top handle also in this champagne gold back pocket that actually fits stuff inside. So it's not a useless back pocket, similar to some of the other ones out there, like the uh, pull-in bag. This is the bag I'm currently using because you guys know I made a video on this um, recently, I think it was last week. So ever since I've been using it, this chain really makes a difference. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll drop it below as well. But again, this pocket really is useless in the back. I mean, I can stuff my phone in there standing up, but it definitely stretches the leather. But, but on this coach back pocket, it actually fits a lot. 
So as you can see, gold hardware, and it's so cute because you can actually take this chain off, use it for some another bag, or just swap it with another chain. Like you can put like a statement strap on here, make it more casual, or you can use this for going out. And this strap is actually adjustable as well. So look how many holes it has. So you can actually adjust this to however short or long you actually want to wear the bag. Um, and again, turn lock right here show you that up close and it's so cute because this little tag is in a silver metallic and it, it does give me holiday vibes a little bit but I mean it's just a cute little bag and I think you can wear it year round so again the inside is also this like forest green so beautiful and the inside looks like this I love this and the inside is the same material as the coach mini cash in so you can see that it has the Creed right here. It has this back pocket, which you can store a lot of things. And here you can see it has additional card slots. So if you didn't want to carry a wallet, you can actually just store your cards back there. But yes, don't, like I said, this bag actually fits so much. So I'm currently using this bag right here, but I'm gonna take all the items from here and see if it fits inside. Because to be honest, everything in this bag is, is my daily essentials, unless I'm going out and staying out like for a long time, I wanna carry like a camera, a water bottle, and things like that. But for the most part, I'm just running errands. I really don't need that much. So as long as it fits my essentials, that's great. So. I have a 12 Pro Max. This is just the case. Let's see if it fits. So just so you know, it is a tight squeeze to put your phone in there because you see the bag, you see the phone. So yes, it fits, but it would need to sit diagonal like this and it'll limit some of the space. So I mean, usually what I'll do is just put it back here. But you cannot put it in this way it will definitely be too long. So just, I would just stand it up like this. And again, I know it's not like the ideal situation, but sometimes I just wanna be hands-free. I mean, most of the time it's in my hands or my pocket anyways, but if I'm like paying for something, I need to do something, I will just stick it like that. So currently inside this pull-in bag, I think someone was telling me that's how you say it. Here is all the stuff I have in here. And again, you guys kind of like, if you guys watch my what's inside my bags, it pretty much is always the same thing. I don't really swap out things too much. It's usually my essentials. Like you guys see this case so many times, I store vitamins in here. And then my sunscreen, I never leave home without it because it's important to make sure that your skin is protected wherever you go. I have my catch all in this pouch, which is where I put like my alcohol wipes and things like that. Okay, so far so good. Sanitizer, I always carry like a really mini one since my, most of my bags are pretty small. That's what it looks like. I carry a small mirror. Now I used to carry like a compact, but it really was kind of chunky, but you see how like thin this is? I got this at Daiso and it's like everything I need in a mirror, but super small. So that fits into all the little bags. Um, I have my AirPods. So let me show you what that looks like. There is my card wallet. And I think what I would usually do is I usually just slip this right here where the back pocket is and it again like i like to because it's so thin i always like to put the card wallet in slots so nothing scratches up against the leather or the hardware so here is what that looks like and then just i carry some wet ones in here lotion and then i carry my silk scrunchie that i love yeah, and this is everything. So obviously this is a lot, too much. It doesn't fit all. So, you know, this is not like a essential. This is just something I like to carry at times, depending on where I'm going. If I wanna like watch YouTube videos or do something or listen to music, I can pop those on. But again, it's not like something I need to carry. So yeah, with that, everything fits perfectly. There is like a little bit of bulging over here. I don't know if you guys can see, 
but ultimately you can't really tell like this one doesn't really have any i think it's just about kind of re um laying everything so it doesn't have more on one side versus the other so the plin bag if you guys are wondering does fit more and i think it's because the top is expandable so you are you are able to like i think fit your phone inside the bag as well as probably like a six ring key from louis vuitton and i could fit this as well so if you guys just for a quick comparison a bag does fit more and i mean it's kind of obvious too right because it is smaller But nonetheless, this bag is just so cute and it's such a unique piece. And most importantly, the quality is just so good. And again, this one was purchased for less than $300, which is so good for a good quality bag. Um, so let me show you what this looks like on. So this is how I would normally wear this. Um, and it's just, it's just a little chain that sits like this and it has leather here. So it makes it super comfortable. And it's so easy to get in and out of because if I'm paying for something, all I do is just go like this and able to access whatever I need, close it up, and there's really no issues. Like I said, if I need to put my phone in here, I just swipe it, I just slide it right here and just sit it like this. So it's so cute. You can swap this out with anything else. You can also carry it like this too. So if you didn't want to actually have this part on it, let me just take it off. So just little details too, like this part over here, it says coach. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just like, there's so much detail. And you can just hold it like this. So think about going to like high tea or brunch or something like that. And you're just carrying this little cutie with you. Definitely consider getting one of these. Um, I just think it's so cute and I actually like how it's very understated. So you don't see a lot of logos. I'm not a fan, I mentioned this before, of like coach monogram, just because I feel like it's a little too intense for me, but I love it for the simplicity of this. It reminds me of like the Cassie 19 um, and some other bags that coach has that is just very minimal. So unless you know, you don't even know what kind of bag that is or what brand it is. I kind of really like that. Let me actually show a comparison between these and the other two coach bags that I personally really love. This bag feels like my Chanel 19. I know it's crazy and I know some of you are probably like, what? It really does a little bit. So obviously the Chanel 19 is probably a tad softer, but I mean, again, you're looking at huge difference in price, but it is just like so soft. I can't get over how soft this is, you guys. Next time you pass by a boutique or if you're just in the area, check it out. Go feel this bag. It's so good. And you know, I think I saw like a um, ad where JLo was in it and she was wearing like the newer coach design. It was like the chain was in leather and the bag kind of looked like this. Um, I actually saw it in store. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to drop it here. I do think it's kind of expensive. I guess it's not expensive generally for the quality, but like if you're looking at contemporary designer, it's almost like leaning towards the designer price. So I probably won't add it, but I would say that that's a really beautiful bag. But yeah, so you guys know I love my coach Cassie. I just think it's such a versatile bag and you wouldn't even know like what brand it was or anything, but here's a size comparison. So you can see that. This one obviously is bigger and fits more, but how cute. It has the same idea, right? It's a flat bag. This one has this top handle. I mean, it's obviously a bigger top handle, but it has like a turn lock too. And both has back pockets. Has very similar features. This one I believe is discontinued. They have other versions similar. I'll drop some here. But yeah, this one is just so cute. Here's another comparison. You guys know I love my little mini cash in. And I think the green, so the green is a little different, right? So this is a true light. This is what they call the Amazon green. It's a deep forest green. This one is kind of similar, but this one's more on the metallic side. But yeah, here's a size comparison. So if you go like this, it's probably like close to the same length. So this one actually fits a lot. It's like an open tote, right? So you can squeeze a lot in here. Um, whereas, but it seems really small. Whereas this one, because it's not open like this and 
see how this one's really wide and this one isn't as wide you can't fit as much so just to give you kind of a comparison if you guys are considering any of these styles um but nonetheless I love all three of these coach bags. I just think each one has its own purpose, right? I love this one because, like I said, I always like the Louis Vuitton um, plaque sack. Is that how you say it? Um, little mini tote, but I just don't think it's worth sixteen or seventeen hundred, however much that bag is, and if it's less than this, because this is um, wider than that bag over there. Also, Celine has one similar to that too, but I think that one retails for like twelve or thirteen hundred. Which again, I don't think I would pay that. I would apply that towards like another type of bag. But I think this one, I think was, I got it on sale. So I want to say, I can't remember, but anywhere from like 150 to two something on the lower end is a really good deal. Same with this. I think this was like 237 in total with taxes. Such a good deal. And you get all the functionality of um, a bag that you would want, right? With a back pocket and handle. This bag right now, which I think is discontinued, but the ones that they currently have, it's pretty good too. I think it's just a little bit flatter. But ever since I got this bag, I just really didn't need the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse anymore because I have that one on my wish list for so long. But kind of, I almost like this size more than the Pochette Matisse, if that makes any sense. I just think it's cuter and it still fits a lot because I don't carry that much. I don't need like that extra space and that extra weight. On my shoulders so yeah like coach bags if you guys are looking for like designer bags but you don't want to spend that price check out coach because they have very similar styles for the fraction of the price so yeah that's pretty much it oh one last thing i wanted to add so if you're wondering if sunglasses actually fit into that bag let me show you really quickly so obviously you wouldn't be able to fit some of this stuff in you would probably have to take it out which is fine so if you didn't carry all of that stuff in there, your sunglasses will fit. So it does fit, it's just you can't carry all the stuff that I had in there, but just to give you a size comparison, it does fit. So yeah, I hopefully this video helps if you're looking for a coach bag, you're just curious about the brand. I just wanted to show you some that I have in my collection that I personally really love. I mean, I don't really see a lot of reviews on this particular style. Um, but nonetheless, like sometimes you just got to try something different because you never know how that's going to work out for your style, for your everyday and such a, such a cute piece. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below. And as always, thank you so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.